What's up everybody? This is going to be my first uh, unscripted or freestyle video. I typically don't like this style of video just because I feel like it's too easy to get lost or the information takes too long to get across. Uh, that said, I think this video is going to be so short it's not going to matter. Uh, the point of this video is to talk about Golden Reaper. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about the new champions. I've seen some of the other YouTubers' videos on the champions. However, I feel like a lot of people haven't really realized the significance of this champion. Um, pretty much this champion is going to shake up a lot of the staples that's currently in place with the clan boss meta. Uh, first of all, she's just flat out an Apothecary killer. Um, the thing that made Apothecary irreplaceable in most in-game clan boss teams was the fact that he had a 30% speed boost uh, buff for the team that only had one turn downtime. So Apothecaries would last for two turns, sometimes three if you had the mastery, but two turns, and then it had a three turn cooldown. This champion literally has the same buff, except hers is even slightly better, because whereas Apothecaries also increase the turn meter by 15%, this champion increases it by 20 That's a negligible difference, but the point is, she has the exact same speed buff, which is huge. Furthermore, uh, stat-wise, she's just better than Apothecary in every way. She even has more base speed, so she's just going to be have a higher potential speed than Apothecary could, just flat out. Um, beyond that, the she has a 50% decrease attack debuff. Um, so I would like to say that this could replace the need for Tayril or Paidma, but I don't think it can. Um, she can't ever get it up to 100% chance. Uh, has 50% by base, and then if you tome her up, she's going to get up to 75% chance, and it has a four-turn cooldown. So I don't feel like this champion alone can replace the need for Tayril and Paidma. Uh, those of you lucky enough to have Martyr on your team already, um, definitely will not need, if you get this champion, will not need Tayril or Paidma. Uh, people who are using Arbiter and Apothecary on their teams currently, and they're using Martyr, those three, have already kind of, mo a lot of the top players have already phased out uh, Tayril or Paidma, they just don't need them. Uh, Martyr can do a 50 or a 50% decrease attack debuff on a three-turn cooldown. It lasts for two turns, so there is a small window. But uh, with using Apothecary, Arbiter, and Martyr together, you're moving so fast that Martyr can keep up the debuff on her own. For those of you that don't have perfect gear enough to uh, make Martyr move that fast and pull that off, if you have this champion, you will have no need for Tayril or Paidma, period. This champion and Martyr alone will have no problem keeping up the 50% decrease attack debuff. So if you're using Skull Smasher and not Martyr, I would say this champion alone is not going to replace the need for uh, Tayril or Paidma, but if you have Martyr, it will. Furthermore, uh, her basic A1 attack is huge. I mean, this thing is, like, I can't even begin to describe the potential that this ability has. Uh, when you tome her up fully, she's going to be sitting at a 50% chance every time she hits with her A1, which this includes uh, counterattacks, so your Skull Smasher and Martyr buffs. 50% chance to just decrease the cooldown of one of your other allies' skills by one turn. So if you've used Painkeeper, Painkeeper had an AoE version of this. This is only a single target version of the skill, but it is every time she attacks. So if you think about how often she's attacking with counterattack, and then this is further amplified by high speed teams. I mean, the, the potential for this is insane. Like, I, I, I'm not even gonna get into it because it would take too long, but you can do some crazy stuff with this skill. So that's pretty much it for the video. Um, like I said, it was gonna be pretty short. The main thing is I wanted to highlight the fact that Golden Reaper is huge. Um, there's just no need to use Apothecary once you get her, in my opinion. And uh, good luck getting her. She's a Void Epic, so she's going to be a little bit hard to get, but um, I don't think it's going to be too crazy. She's same faction as, like, um, Skull Crown, so I'd say she's probably the same. You're going to see her about as often as you're going to see Skull Crown, so it's rare, but nothing too crazy. Um, and that's it.